something too. Let me share this peace and love family. Peace and love. I decided to drop in here for a few minutes, just for a few minutes, you know, let everybody know, you know, thanks for all of those who have already uh, purchased tickets for this lecture. It's going to be an amazing lecture. Um, I think, what are you doing? I can hear. Can you hear it in your headphones? No. All right. It's the What are you doing? It's going to be an amazing lecture. Let me let me share this. Press one if you can hear me. Man, you're making this hard for me, bro. I try to talk. Anyway. Anyway, let me share this a little bit. Yeah, I wanted I wanted to come here today. You know, I got this lecture coming up about the uh, MST of A uh, Inc. And um, I just want to thank everybody uh, for their their consistency and support. Um, but I wanted to talk to I talked to an elder the other day. Can y'all hear me? Press one if somebody in here can hear me. Press one if y'all able to hear me. Or oh, press seven. We do seven over this side. You know what I mean? Press seven if you can hear me good. I see my brother Manny, Manny Bay in the building. If y'all can hear me, press seven. Oh, my man, my man, my man. Good, good, good. So I'm going to share this a little bit. But I just want to give some people some backdrop. Because I, I spoke to, to one of my brothers who, who is an elder in the community. And he said, well, Brother Talk, he said, listen, what saving power? Hold up, Aline, hold up, Aline. He, he said, what saving power? does you doing this lecture about the MST of A Inc. has. And many people might even, oh, you sound, I'm sounding a little bit low. How about now? Let me turn my mic up a little. How about now? How about now? <laughs> Come on, bro, this is my thing. Come I'm on, doing... bro, this is my thing. <laughs> Stop. Stop. Hold up, Ali. I'm gonna put you out. The, I'm gonna put you out the studio. No. I'm gonna put you out the studio. No. All right. Well, let me let me let, well, let me finish talking then. All right. I need to make my adjustment. So, so brother asked me. He said. So brother said. A brother said. Um. Bro, sit back and relax. Yeah. All right. Brother said. Well, well. Well, uh, Grand Sheik, what what saving power does it have with you doing a lecture uh, about the MST of A Inc.? And many of us would 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 definitely go go that route when it comes to talking about a sensitive subject as it relates to the history of the Moore Science Temple of America. Um, and the brother was 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 like really serious, somebody who I really respect. Um, and I said to the brother, I said, brother, what do you mean by where's the saving power? And so I had to explain to him, I said, brother, the saving power is the prophet Noble Drew Ali left us a blueprint for us to follow. And if we veer off from that blueprint, there will be no success. That will be the same thing as a Christian following Christ. That will be the same thing as a Muslim following Muhammad. That would be the same thing as you have a philosophical way of life and you go off that path. The moment that you go off that path, then it has no saving power. I'm saying that we have been off the path and the reason why we've been off the path is because we have been adopting things that prophet noble Drali never even taught never had never never taught never was even a part of the structure of the uh the more science tip of america and those who follow the teachings of the prophet noble Drali believe that prophet noble Drali. forget if people that don't follow prophet noble Drali don't understand this those who follow prophet noble Drali believe that number one prophet noble Drali is a prophet of god number two prophet noble Drali put together a soundproof program for us to get out of this condition that we call uh mental slavery um financial servitude to other groups of people um emotional, spiritual, and every other problem that we face. That this is what more Americans are supposed to believe. And we believe that the system that the Prophet Noble Drali gave us is Islamism to get out of this situation. 
The moment that we go off the path of Islamism, we begin to repeat the cycle of this mental slavery and everything that comes with it. And so when we go back and we look at what happened during the time of Emiliel and Kirkman Bay and um, all the other leaders uh, that tried to uh, push Prophet Noble Drew Ali to the side, push his program to the side. Um, when we're able to peel back them layers and see what happened, then we when we, we enable ourselves to move on a better uh, walk in this journey towards we like to call salvation, liberation, or just balance in life. The moment that we go off that path, there is a problem. And so this is the reason why I'm doing this lecture. The reason why I'm doing this lecture um, is it's, it's, it's the hijacking of the nation series. There is a five part series. The first part that I did of the hijacking of the nation, I showed that, you know, all of these Supreme Grand Sheiks is a facade. It's not true. They never had a convention every year from the time of the prophet that would pass somebody down uh, uh, the mantle to be the leader of a more science temple of America. That's a flat out lie. They try to make it in semblance of the United States of America from the presidency of Washington all the way up to uh, Biden, that it was passed down, that they didn't have conventions or no, nah, no, nah, it didn't happen like that. The Moore Science Temple of America dwindled down to a few adapts. That's it. It dwindled down to a few adapts. And when it dwindled down to a few adapts uh, uh, that was faithful to the prophet, those few adapts um, or sheiks, if you will, was trustee of the organizations. Now, I don't say none of that stuff give anybody power. If you're not producing no works, then it don't mean nothing at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? You can call yourself a sheik. You can call, most people call themselves sheiks, don't even know the definition of the sheik or the job that it encompasses. So that, uh, that doesn't mean nothing. You know what I mean? A lot of people call themselves sheiks, divine ministers, and wear black fezes and stuff like that. They haven't produced nothing under that stuff. The only thing they produce is things that build their own ego and their own little pride for self. But when you're talking about the Prophet Noble Drew Ali and the organization called the Morris Science Temple of America, it's supposed to be an institution. It's supposed to be an institution that builds upon human needs and the human needs must be uh, uh, put down on the ground where the people can see it's happening so that people can benefit from it. We don't see that. Um, I, I do my best to work towards it. This is why I do Morris World TV in the way that I do. I like try to teach people wisdom as opposed to trying to adopt uh, to be a uh, Moorish American uh, express sitting in the temple, hearing a sheik uh, uh, talk and fancy about his lessons all day. You know what I mean? Just teach people wisdom. And if they decide to go that way, they go that way. But anyway, when we look at history of the Moorish Science Temple of America, we know one thing for sure and two things for certain. Many people like to use the argument. And this is the thing people don't like to talk about. Many people like to use the argument that uh, Brother C. Kirkman Bay was... Uh, chosen or voted in position that was no vote at convention for no c kirkman bay that was never a vote i mean that was never a vote for c kirkman bay at a convention not one vote took place in 1929 for c kirkman bay at a convention that's number one number two you have people uh you have people d armstrong ali he said Nice to see you not clowning. Man, life is about fun. Life is about living life. Everybody got different compartments of life, brother. If you live one life totally serious, you are a miserable person. So if you if you can't clown and have fun once in a while, Armstrong Ali, um, you are a miserable person. You're just miserable and you don't understand. See, this is the problem. If you was in the temple when I'm there twice, three times a week teaching, then you would have a different sediment. If you were, if you were, if you were on Facebook every week that I go live on Holy Day, you would have a different sediment. See, you look for clowning on Morse World TV because that's your vibration. But if your vibration was higher, you would say, can you send me the link so I can join Sunday class? Can you send me the link so I can join Holy Day class? Can you send me the link so I can join and elevate my mind? Do you follow 
what I'm saying? No, I said, send me the link. I didn't say J Temple in Arizona. I said, send me the link. You know what I'm saying? See, I teach three, four times, sometimes more times a week. You only see me on, on uh, uh, Moorish World TV. And the Moorish World TV citizens are more supportive than you have ever been. Than you have ever been. And so don't talk about clowning as it relates to Moorish World TV because we family over there. Because if you come over there tonight, you might get clowned tonight. But this is a different conversation over here. Back to what I was saying. The foundation... Um, I don't date online, nor do I worship. You worshiping now. Look, as I, look how contradictory you are. You're worshiping now. You're worshiping me online right now because you're commenting and you're talking to me and you're talking in the left to get my attention. You see what I'm saying? Instead of learning something. See, there's a different, some people are here to learn. You're here to worship. That's why you're talking to get my attention. You want to hear your God speak. That's why you want my attention. You want my undivided attention to you because I became your God. But mine's God today may not be his God tomorrow. You might be looking for somebody else for attention in the next five minutes. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Anyway, that's it. Let me leave you alone and move on. The point that I'm making is, is that when we look at the history of the Morris Science Temple of America, let me share this a little bit more. Everybody share this. That's because I'm about to get into a little bit for the next 15, 20 minutes. You know what I mean? Um, when we look at the history of the Morris Science Temple of America, let me give you an example. The Morris Science Temple of America. The Morris Science Temple of America is set up to get us up out of this dismal condition. That's it. That's all. The Morris Science Temple of America is an organization that is destined to metamorphose into a full-blown nation eventually. Now, if the blueprint isn't met, we would never be able to reach that. So my fight has always been those who are saying that they follow the prophet Noble Drew Ali but don't follow the structure, I'll call them out. Not to, to, to be personal, if you will, but to call it out. You know what I'm saying? But just to call it out so people that who are truly looking for it can find it. If, in fact, it does exist somewhere on social media or the doorway or the gateway exists. So let's go back for a minute. When we look at Prophet Noble Drali, even in the picture behind me, let's look at the regalia. Prophet Noble Drali doesn't have, we look at the Morris Science Temple of America Incorporated and we know that they really pride themselves in wearing, and this is something small, people will call it petty, Pride themselves in wearing capes. Oh, boy, some people got some fine capes out there. You know what I'm talking about? They got some fine capes. But when we look at the Moors that was with the Prophet Noble Drew Ali during that era of time, we don't see their cape. And it makes you wonder what and why was the cape implemented? And because we deal with science as it relates to the teachers of the Prophet Noble Drew Ali, Everything should have a meaning and have a purpose to it. So what is the purpose of that cape? Those are some of the things I'm going to break down in this lecture. You know, um, my God, nah, ain't Allah to me or Kimash, this guy crazy. But anyway, so I'm going to break down that. Um, how did, how did Kirkman Bay... How was Kirkman Bay able to be recognized as the sec at the Secretary of State level at the as the Morris Science Temple of America when in fact Emily Ill won every court case when in fact Emily Ill the one that honored him with the credentials or uh, 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 the title um, Supreme Grand Advisor when in fact Emily Ill revoked that title supreme grand advisor how does he be how does he get recognized at the secretary of state level and r jones bay at even this day is recognized at the secretary of state level 
as Morris Science Temple of America Incorporated. How does that work? And is Morris Science Temple of America Incorporated Prophet Noble Drew Ali's movement? I say no, and I'm going to show and prove how it is not. Um, secondly, um, thirdly, fourthly, and fifthly, why people don't care about that is beyond me. We study history. We talk about history that we can't even touch or even get close to. We talk about Moab. We talk about the ancient Canaanites. We talk about uh, the Hebrew Israelites. We talk about all of these ancient teachings, but we scared to even go back a hundred years to see what our movement is supposed to look like. Now you tell me that ain't hypocrisy. My bad. Tell me that ain't hypocrisy. We can't go back a hundred years to see what our movement look like so we can get it right. Now you tell me that ain't hypocrisy. That's one of the biggest hypocrisy I've ever seen in any movement. If we want to get it right, we got to look back in order to move forward because something ain't right. Something definitely ain't right. There is no system in place uh, uh, that that structurally that is structurally sound that is comparison or mirrors what the prophet brought us. There is no school to every temple. There is no grocery store to every temple. There is no uh, um, no newspaper that goes out to any and everybody that in in a community in a local community. There is none of that. You know what I mean? There is nobody producing things like the Prophet Noble Drew Ali produced in the days of Prophet Noble Drew Ali. You know? I think we are maybe one of the few people that produce our own phases. In fact, bro, sit in your chair for a second. I want to show people something. Sit over here. Can you sit over here? Man, I got to show something. Sit right here. Sit over here. Hold up. I need to show everybody something. Listen. We produce our own flags. These are Moorish flags. They'll be they'll be sale they'll be on sale soon. I mean, these are our own flags. These are Moorish flags. Now the, the newer one is I got in the car because I was taking it around. These are our own flags. Nobody make these flags for us. These are our flags. We produce these Moorish flags. You follow me? The, this is not a Moroccan flag with with um interlocking stars and 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 and, and, and black outlines. And we produce in-house everything that we consider to be sacred to us. We produce these things. You know what I mean? We produce these things. And so the point that I'm making is we don't see this around. People going to Lauders to buy fezzes, going to Masons, European Masons at that to buy fezzes. We produce our own Korans. Do you follow me? Hold on. We produce our own Korans. We don't, we don't, we don't, we don't. But the point that I'm making is we haven't even seen people to embark on trying to uh, uh, establish themselves as a nation. When when you go to a lot of different groups like this, th you know what I mean, and you say, the, what we're working, let me say what we're working on. That whenever you need something, if you need a flag, we got it. You ain't got to go to no European at all. We got it. If you need a Quran, you ain't got to go online to uh, uh, Amazon and buy it from any and everybody. That's right. If you need, if you need any type of literature, you need a fez, you need a tassel, you need anything, we got it in house. You follow what I'm saying? So the point that I'm making is, is that Prophet Noble Drew Ali put a structure in place, but that structure also births certain endeavors, and those endeavors is our independence, financial independence. You know what I'm saying? And we should be more creative than we are, and so. When we go back and look, we see what happened. We see, we will see in this lecture, you might see this in this lecture, I don't know, but you will see that before the passing of Prophet Noble Drew Ali, before the murder of Prophet Noble Drew Ali, and this is the thing, this is the thing. People won't even admit that Prophet Noble Drew Ali was physically murdered. 
Like on that, they let the public believe that he died of tuberculosis when he is known to be healing tuberculosis. They won't even speak out against that. Tell me why no one speaks out against the lie on the death certificate. These little things, you know better. How can a man cure tuberculosis, right? How can a man cure tuberculosis yet he dies from tuberculosis? That doesn't even make sense. That doesn't even make sense. All of these researchers never even took it upon themselves to go look deeper and to find out what happened. How can, how can one say that Prophet Noble Drew Ali, how can one allow people to say that Prophet Noble Drew Ali is a pedophile and no one jumps to the public to look into it so they can stand on and defend that he was not? They would rather say, oh, oh, man, just let them talk. No, you don't let them talk. Uh-uh. You find the evidence to show and prove that that's not true. Because when you let people talk, a lie travels way longer than the truth per se. I mean, you follow me? And we produce our own hats. We produce these. You feel me? We produce these. You feel me? We produce these. We got plenty more. We got a whole bunch of products. Whole bunch. Brother, you message me. Message me. The, these hats are, are, are 25, 25 uh, plus shipping. So it'd probably be about $30. You know what I mean? Um, but we produce these things. You know what I'm saying? We produce these things. Where is... Let me see what else I got here. But we got so many things that we produce. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Let me see, man. I'm, I'm, I'm losing count of some of the things we produce. Let me see. I had something up here earlier. You know what I mean, we, we got so much stuff we produce. It's crazy. Like, we about, to, we about to have our own Amazon. We about to have our own Moorish Amazon. You feel what I'm saying? Because, man, we got some industrious people right here. We got some industrious people. But the point that I'm making is we're going to be talking about the cape. We're going to be talking about the black fez that people think is a muff tease fez. That's not true. That's false. No such thing. No such thing. Um, we're going to be talking about the main thing that I really, the, the main thing that I need, the, the main thing that I'm going to be pointing out is that the structure that the public is seeing that's supposed to deliver us is not there. That's the main thing I'm going to be pointing out. One of the other main things I'm going to be pointing out is the murder of Prophet Noble Drew Ali. You feel me? It's the murder of Prophet Noble Drew Ali. I'm also going to, I'm also going to be pointing out um, that Kirkman Bay, whether people like it or not, Kirkman Bay was an informant. He was an informant. He was an informant. I'm going to show and prove that. This is not just, oh, it was in the FBI files. Yeah. But it never said that emphatically. But I'm going to show emphatically. You feel me? He was an informant. There was informants all up in that demonstration. Many were sent from other cities to overthrow the Prophet Noble Drew Ali. Because the momentum had picked up so fast. You follow me? I'm talking. Oh. No. The momentum had picked up so fast that they didn't know what was going to happen if it would have picked up around the country at the pace that it picked up in the cities that it was... Uh, 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 manifested in during the time of the prophet. You know what I'm saying? Um, yes, he was an informant to overthrow the movement. Absolutely. Not to overthrow the movement. Remember the, 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 the new thing that has been and continues to be is create a leader for you. It's, it's never to overthrow. It's to cause confusion. You know what I mean? You can overthrow something and be the end of it until it builds again. So it's all the objective now and then 
It was to cause confusion. And so people won't know which way to go. And it'll be like traveling around the desert for 40 years uh, as as Moses now did. And that's where we're at now. People don't know what to do now. People say, well, OK, if the prophet Noble Ali didn't pass the movement down or it didn't pass down after Emil Eel, then what? What gives you the power? You know what I'm saying? Um, they're always looking for someone to have some type of power. You know what I'm saying? If if Prophet Noble Drew Ali uh, set up a system and the system hasn't been met, then what gives you the authority to have set up this system that the prophet put up? You know what I mean? We always make excuses because it takes a little bit of more work than just talking. And so people are always trying to find reason uh, not to work. Um, but at the end of the day, when you look at around this Morris diaspora, we don't see a lot of people interacting with um with movers and shakers to make things happen in the name of Moorish. Every time we see, we see a lot of people, we see them trying to take pictures with other groups. We see them trying to be friends and, and, and be chummy chummy with other groups. And that's fine too. But you also should be trying to establish yourself as the other groups have. And we just don't see that. And we're supposed to be establishing ourselves amongst our people. You know what I mean? So the people can have a reasonable take on what it is to be free by the way of you. If you don't like what Ta'aka Bay is doing, then you should do something more. You should do, somebody should come out to the forefront and do better. But as of now, I'm telling you many more. You know what I mean? Look, bro, Michael, my, Prophet Noble Drew Ali was not murdered. Would you like to debate that tonight? I'll put my show on Morris Road TV on hold. Would you like to debate that for charity? Would you like to debate that for charity, bro, Michael, or are you just here talking? See, this is the difference between me and a lot of other people. Don't, don't say something if you're not ready to stand on it. Anything that I say, I'm ready to stand on it. Anything that I say, I'm ready to stand on it. Anything that I say, I'm ready to stand on it. If you come in my chat and you're not ready to stand on it, just remain silent. Just remain silent. And don't tell me I only debate my equals. I don't debate my equals. <laughs> Stop, boy. Stop, boy. <laughs> come on. Okay, Stop. you're going to get out the office. I got to finish talking. Ow. All right. But don't tell me, don't tell me um, uh, 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 that... I only debate my equals. Truth don't need to be debated. All that little cliche stuff that people like to say. No, if you say something, stand on it because I'm willing to stand on mine. I mean, I'm willing to stand on mine with a, with a, with a PowerPoint, with a PowerPoint. But now back to my point. Um, with that being said, talk about title DM you claim that came from. I never was in MST of a Inc., I never came from there. I was never a part of the Moore Science Temple of America Incorporated. What are you talking about? Do you know me, bro? Huh? Do you know me, bro? Yeah. I was I was never a part of that organization, yes. brother. Let me finish. Yeah. See how you bully me. Mm -hmm. Let me finish, bro. You go, I'm about to, okay, you out the office. No, you out the office. All right, let me finish. But but that's the point that I'm making is the point that I'm making is if you're ready, if let, come on, a name. <laughs> if if you're ready, if you're ready to uh, say something, be ready to stand on it. Now now back to my other point. Um, yeah, set up the I I Ayadi L. Inbox him and set up the debate for me. Any day, any time, set it up for me, Ayadi L. Any day, any time, I'm ready. Um. Aline, if you keep talking, you got to get out. I got to, I got to, I got to expel you. You know what I mean? I got to expel you from the chamber. No, I got to expel you from the chamber. <laughs> the chamber, chamber, chamber. But anyway, I want to, let me, let me say a few more points and then I'm going to be finished. Um, so we're going to be talking about that. Um, we're going to be talking about, um, what we should be doing to move forward as a, as opposed to what's being done. You feel what I'm saying? What's being done? Like, it's a whole bunch of things that I'm going I'm to I'm just really, really break down. I'm a re let, me, let me go. Let me look at my slides real quick while I'm here. Let me see. I'm going to look at my slides are ready to go. People ask me to do a few more items. So my slides are ready to go. So let me just look. And, and everybody who get the 
and everybody who gets the lecture will have over 125 slides. Oh, we're going to be talking about the mystery of the silent brotherhood, the red book, uh, Kirkman's Bay red book. Why did he write that red book or why, why did he produce that red book? Anybody know anything about the red book from Kirkman Bay? They think it's an adapt book. It's not an adapt book. Anybody familiar with that? Anybody familiar with that? Why do we address separation? This is not the Holy Covenant. Why do we address separation? Because we're going to separate the wheat from the shaft. There's two things in all the world. The one is truth. The other is falsehood. Didn't it? What? Huh? Mohair Bay say, why do we address separation? Because there's one thing in all the world. The one is truth. The other is falsehood. Didn't Jesus, didn't Jesus address those who was leading people astray? Didn't in our Quran, in our Quran of the more yeah, yeah, hold up, yeah, Lane, hold up, Lane. Yeah, yeah. In our holy Quran of the more signs, Temple of America, did not Jesus address those, 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 uh, uh, um, those publicans and they, they was called publicans in the Bible, but in the holy Quran of the more signs, Temple of America, he was called them lawyers. In the Bible, they was talking about Pharisees and Sadducees. In the Holy Quran of the Moorish Science Temple of America, he they was they was uh, uh, um what was they uh, uh uh worthless cumbers of the state. Why? Yeah, hadi, hadi, Why? Hadi, hadi. Why? Hadi. Didn't he address all that? Now today we're not supposed to address it, huh? Of course we are. If if we gotten off the path, we supposed to address what happened and why we gotten off the path. You follow what I'm saying? If we if we got off the path, we supposed to address it so we can get back on the path. You know what I mean? The mission of the how can you save the nation if you don't know which way to go? The brother say, I do understand that, my brother. However, the mission of the prophet was to save the nation. How do you stay? How do you save a nation if the nation don't know which way to go? And you cannot even walk that way because you don't know the way yourself. Because the example been obscured. The example have been blurred. The lines have been blurred. Somebody got to come back. Somebody got to come back and show with the line. You got to go now. Uh -uh, uh -uh. Go upstairs. Go upstairs. Uh, that's the last warning. Be right back. Come on. Let's go. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Garden Eden. I had to get him out the garden of Eden. I had to get him out the garden of Eden. Now, so so back so 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 uh, um so back to my point. Back to my point. Oh no, we're gonna set that up when I get down. I known you wasn't. Um. Anyway, we're gonna get back. We're gonna get to that in a minute. Let me see. He said. Um. Let me read this before. I sent the email. Something type before. Okay. Don't worry about it. We can we're gonna set that up. We can set that up tomorrow if you're ready. Are you ready tomorrow? I ain't got no problem. We can do this tomorrow afternoon. Um, anyway, so when the when the lines are blurred as to which way to go, for for example, if for example, if I gave you, if I gave you instructions of how to build a house, a blueprint. And I wrote it in a Sharpie. And water got all over the blueprint. Would you be able to build that house? You can build a house. You could make out some of the words. But you won't be able to build that one on the blueprint. So we would have to look back to the designer of the blueprint. And we have to separate those who have tried to rewrite the blueprint from the actual blueprint in order to build that house properly. You follow me? You follow me? Brother Mike, I don't know what you're speaking of, brother. I don't know what you're speaking of, brother, but we'll we're, we're set up the debate, brother. Just calm down. We'll set up the debate. We'll set up the debate. So, 
back to my point. When the Prophet Noble Drew Ali set up this organization, we know the titles that were given by the Prophet Noble Drew Ali. And we got to remember that the Prophet is representing a law. Anybody that changed anything, they definitely out of order. People say, oh, this, 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 you can change. No, 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 no. Mm -mm. The basic structure, the basic structure is when the Prophet Noble Drew Ali set up this organization, Let me find it real quick for you. When the Prophet Noble Drali set up this organization in the divine constitution and Bible law, it speaks of the grand sheik and chairman. It doesn't speak of a grand advisor. We're not going to let that slide. Why well, you keep talking about that? We're not going to let that slide. It does not speak of a grand advisor. We're not going to let that slide. Not a divine movement. If we was playing hopscotch and we wanted to change the rules, that's different. But not a divine movement. Not a divine movement. You understand what I'm saying? If we was playing jacks, if we was playing jacks and we wanted to change the rules, that's different. But this is the divine constitution and bylaws. We're not going to change this. We're not going to let somebody tell everybody that the head of the organization is a supreme grand sheik. When in fact, the supreme grand sheik is a position on the supreme grand council. No one will be able to live out the creed of this organization if you don't know the true structure of it. So we got to look back and got to look back and see where we went wrong. How do you get a Supreme Grand Advisor from Grand Sheik and Chairman? We can't let that slide because people come behind us might really want to take this demonstration serious and get all the benefits that was gotten when the prophet was on the scene. So, so we're not going to take this. We're not going to take this lightly. We should. We should have never took it lightly. We should have never took it lightly when someone came out and gave something different than what the prophet gave. It's been over a hundred some years now. We should never take it properly. I mean, we should never. I mean, we should never take it lightly. Is what I'm saying. You ready to chill? Yeah, mom. All right. Tell everybody you apologize for interrupting. Come on. No, no. Come on. You gonna want go? You want? You want to go back up? You want? You want? You want get? For what? For, for. For what? For make noise. All right. You oh you want to go sit sit right there in your seat? Oh you want to go out the garden? I I I cash you. I can get you out the garden. You don't want to go out the garden eating? What? Get that. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, we're gonna set the debate up, bro. Michael, we ain't gonna. I mean, listen. After I come down off this live stream, we're gonna set it up, brother. I mean, I got you. We're gonna set it up for tomorrow. Which when you ready tomorrow? What time are you ready tomorrow? I mean, I wanna go out. Okay. I wanna go out and play. Okay, it's nighttime now, though. We gotta wait till tomorrow. It's nighttime. It's dark. I mean, um, with that being said, with that being said, so 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 the mission is now so we can put it on the table so the, so we can show people what it is. Um, we got to look back into the past. You know what I mean? How did Kirkman Bay, if me, if Emilio was determined the rightful leader after Prophet Noble Drali, how does Kirkman Bay saying he was the leader from 1929 forward? How does he say that and people believe that? When Emilio had conventions from 29 forward until the day he passed, but people still believe that. I mean, 
But people still believe that. You know what I'm saying? Yes, he was by another faction of members who conspired to overthrow the prophet. They beat the prophet. The truth is out. No more lies. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, and so we want to go into that. And now I'm I'm not just going to give a lecture where I'm just talking. I'm going to show receipts on what I'm talking about. And so because we wasn't there, we're going to go with the preponderance of the evidence. Now, when I say I believe that the prophet Obadur Ali was mur murdered, I'm going to show you five eyewitness reports or I, I'm going to show you about three eyewitness reports and I'm going to show you um, second party reports. In other words, they got it from somebody, but then I got these two or three, give or take, give or take. But anyway, they all going to be the slides that I'm going to give away with this lecture. And you'll receive the slides. This will be Sunday, this Sunday. You'll receive the slides uh, maybe 30 to 45 minutes before I start the lecture so you can go along with me. And there is no lecture here that is giving you uh, all the slides and all that. Now, I'm, I'm one of the first ones. I'm one of the first ones that uh, when I do a lecture, I give my slides with it. You see what I'm saying? That way you don't when when the lecture go down, you all you still can study from it and you can take these slides and use it as a foundation to do deeper research. You follow what I'm saying? This is one. Who, whatever lectures does that. Whatever lectures. They, people going to start mimicking this. I've been doing this for the last few years. And let me say another thing. Let me say another thing. Um, let me see what else I got here. Oh, yeah. We're going to talk about uh, uh, the red book, why that was written. We're going to talk about uh, uh, we're going to decipher the FBI files. Uh, we're going to talk about um, we're going to talk about. Uh, Kirkman Bay um, supposed to be an interpreter, uh, uh, but he never attended school. But that that is, that doesn't make that doesn't make that doesn't make that doesn't mean nothing. That doesn't mean nothing. That doesn't mean nothing. That doesn't mean nothing. He said that he went to Howard University. There is no records that he went to Howard University. You know what I'm saying? He say he went to he came he went to Egypt. There is no records that he went to Egypt. You know what I mean? You know what I mean, shout out to my people from Senegal. Brother, I want to invite you to the show. Inbox me. I want you to come and talk to the family about Senegal. Family, come on. Come talk to me about Senegal. Please, inbox me whenever you can, and we can set it up. I would love to talk to you about Senegal. You follow me? I would love to. You know what I mean? Our, our family is so disconnected here. Uh, we need to know our family. Um all over the world, most importantly, Africa. You know what I'm saying? Senegal. I got a, um, um, our assistant grand sheik have traveled there. Uh, and, and I would love for y'all to have a conversation. Message me, brother. You know what I mean? I'm somebody trying to text me. Um, but with that being said, somebody said, please make sure you add me in your lecture and slideshows. Peace of love. Well, brother, you got to make sure you have a ticket. The ticket link is right up in the, uh, what's the day? You got to make sure you have a ticket because it ain't going to be fair to those that have purchased a ticket for the three-hour lecture, two-and-a-half, three-hour lecture, and then I give it away to everybody. And for people that are talking about, oh, he's charging $20 for a lecture. Family, yo, you know good and well, I've been I've been given information away, it, away for, the, for over five years. For over five years, I have, and every once in a while, I do do a lecture. Um, and let me tell you, I'm trying to raise and add money to the money that I got for the Prophet Noble Drew Ali's documentary. We need a real documentary about Prophet Noble Drew Ali. You know what I'm saying? We need a real documentary about Prophet Noble Drew Ali. And it got to be done from a real historical point of view, not so much of a religious point of view, not so much of a... Um, not so much of a dogmatic point of view. It need to be done with checks and balances from a religious, uh, not a religious, uh, but from a historical point of view. You know, it need to be done from a historical point of view. You know what I mean? So, so the brothers say, where can I purchase? This is where you can purchase. I just sent you the, I just sent you the link right there. But, but it need to be done. And that's what I'm, that's, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do it from a historical point of view. I mean, we're going to be talking about religion, of course. 
You know what I'm saying? We're going to be talking about, uh, uh, man, let me tell you something about the Prophet Noble Drew Ali story. First of all, in, I won't be talking about this in the lecture, but let's, 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 let's look at this real quick. Prophet Noble Drew Ali states in the questionnaire that he was born in the state of North Carolina, 1886. However, when you look at the historical record, it says that he was born in Virginia. How many Moors can work out that equation as of yet? I've already worked it out. How many Moors claim to be uh, 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 um, historians as it relates to the Moore Science Temple of America can work that equation out. When he gets on the ship to go to Cuba, it said his birthplace was Virginia. When you see him on the draft report, it said his birthplace was Virginia. Here's, the, here's, here's something for those who think they know a lot. You follow me? Here's something for people that think they know a lot. Solve this equation. Why is it that in your questionnaire, he said he was born in the state of North Carolina, yet the historical record, it states that he was born in Norfolk, Virginia. We're going to talk about that in the documentary. We're going to talk about that in the documentary. Also, I mean, hold on. Also, um. Let me say this. So can y'all see that link in there? Hope y'all can see the link in there. Um, also, um, that's for the documentary. What else we got for the documentary? What else we got? Oh, oh, Prophet Noble Drew Ali's relatives. You know what I'm saying? Prophet Noble Drew Ali's relatives. You know what I mean? His kinfolk that, that I have traced and tracked down. You know what I'm saying? We're going to talk about that that also and what else what else but the story of prophet noble drew ali and the more science tip of america is a serious story it's a serious story it's a serious story it's 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 about a little boy who grew up in the hills of north carolina and he felt this power about himself didn't know what it was. Ended up, just I'm give you a pieces and bits of it. Ended up with his uncle, who was a preacher, still trying to figure out what this is that's about him. Unable to figure it out. He's working at as a showman in Virginia as a youngster turns into a street preacher and finds himself going to a town close to Newark, New Jersey. He didn't go straight to Newark, New Jersey. And in that town a power came upon a, 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 a power came upon him and he did not know what it was. He felt electrified. Those are the words. He felt electrified. And when people was in need, he was able to help them, but he didn't know what it was. Now, all of that fantasy about Prophet Noble Drew Ali traveled in to Egypt and all of that, we're going to debunk all of that. Prophet Noble Drew Ali out of his own mouth, say he did not know what it was. Just didn't know. So he went and got some books, what they were called corresponding courses books, to try to figure out what this was, that he could actually make people feel better talking, touching, listening, observing, basically healing people learning how certain herbs could heal people. You feel what I'm saying? All of that sanity, sanity stuff is gone. It's gone. Prophet Noble Drew Ali, out of his own mouth, is telling people who asked him, he said, I didn't know what it was. And he used the term at some point, he says, 
before he went to Nork, he said at some point his power, he used the term zapped. He said it was zapped. In other words, it had quicker than, as fast as it has came, it had left. And he didn't understand it. Man, this documentary is going to be amazing. You know what I'm saying? I'm raising money for it uh, to finish it up. I already got it started, but it's going to be amazing. And so, and so once he get to New Jersey, once he get to New York, New Jersey, he never created the Canaanite temple. He was at Dixon Barbershop teaching that which he has learned on his journey. And I'm telling you, I'm just chopping it up right now because it's for the documentary. He had Dixon Barbershop and he's teaching people what he had learned on his journey all the way from Virginia to the town near North New Jersey. And Dixon was a part of the Canaanite temple. Invited Prophet Noble Drew Ali to the Canaanite temple. The Canaanite temple predates Prophet Noble Drew Ali. The Canaanite temple was a building where Prophet Noble Drew Ali was invited to by the way of Dixon from Dixon's barbershop. He didn't found the Canaanite temple. That's a myth too. But it's all over the internet. It's all over these scholars' websites. It's all over, uh, uh, even MST of A Incorporated is really is telling this stuff. No! The Canaanite temple predates Prophet Noble Drew Ali. He went to the Canaanite temple and he did teach in the Canaanite temple, but he did not find the Canaanite temple. It's not true. Man, this is a fascinating story, family. It's a fascinating story. All the way up to Prophet Noble Drew Ali being arrested for selling uh, 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 homegrown herbs for healing. You know what I mean? Um, oils, which we would come to know to be the oil teas and compounds. They charged him for selling medicine. Something that you can pick out of the field. They charge him for selling medicine as a doc. Man, it was crazy. It was crazy. They begin to target him. They locks him up one time. And they say, okay, since you have all of these powers, let me see you just go free. He said, if the law says I'm, I'm guilty, I'm going to just go ahead and obey this law. You got it. Pretty soon, Although he was although he was convicted and sentenced pretty soon, got up out of that situation, kept it moving. And this is the thing that people don't understand. In 1916, Prophet Noble Drew Ali got locked up, being accused of selling medicine without a license. They gave him a $50,000 bail. In today's money, that'd be close to a quarter million dollars, 100,000 something. He made that bail. Prophet Noble Drew Ali, when people try to say Prophet Noble Drew Ali came to uplift the Moors or came to fleece the people and was hustling people, Prophet Noble Drew Ali came in with finance. What are you talking about? He came in with finance. When he was in Newark, New Jersey, and they locked him up, he said he's not going to stop what he's doing until he healed his entire community. So some of the services charged, some was donations, and some was just goodwill donation. In other words, I like what you're doing. In other words, Man, listen, I'm going to just go ahead every week. I'm going to make sure that I uh, 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 support what you're doing. By the time he got to Chicago, this is why he was able to, come on. In 1927, he got a printing press, his own printing press. You know what? Many, many people, many people 
uh, 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 even today, even today, he has his own printing press in 1927. Do you know what a printing press would cost in 1927 with all those plates that it would take to print a newspaper? He had his own. He came in with money. He didn't come in to fleece nobody. When you look at Prophet Noble Drew Ali with the oil teas and confound and the manufacturing corporation, he came in with these ideas. The nerve of some people say, oh, he was trying, he was just trying to rob. Oh, he came in with this. Only thing the people had to bring was themselves and their good intentions. From the clothes that they wore, from the flags that they flew, from the from the fezes that they had. The Moors had this stuff. It was all in-house. Nobody knew about this stuff. The Prophet Noble Drew Ali was able to take these ideas, bring it to the people, and the people was able to really build from that which he had already established. The Prophet Noble Drew Ali's and the Moors back then had a system that they was working with within their group, their system called Islamism is what made them successful. So I do what I do so we can get back to the system called Islamism, that we may be successful. That's it. And I can lose what people call friends over this, over this truth. This lecture and many other people is going to stop being, I lost a lot of friends over this. Sharif Anil Bay was one of my uh, uh, dearest friends, but I deal with truth, not falsehood. One of my dearest friends. Miss him to this day. But truth is most important. Salvation is personal. Salvation is personal. You want something? You want to come and say something to the people? I need to. That's just Rob. She comes stalking in the, in the, in the, in the, in, the, in the chamber. She comes stalking. Um, my brother, uh, 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 um, uh, uh, Cyrus L. One of my dear friends, one of my dear friends, Brother Cyrus L. That's what truth does. Truth does. I just have a difference of opinion and a difference of research that make me stand on a different truth. But at the end of the day, Aline, Aline, mommy said get off the floor. But that's the point, family. I don't want to go any further because I get real. When I, when I, man, I've done so much research about Prophet Noble Dravli. I traveled. I, I've done so much in the name of research for the more Science Temple of America, Prophet Noble Dravli. There is, uh, 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 it, 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 it's, it's actually, I, I'm emotionally attached to it. You know what I'm saying? The story. It's just a fascinating story. Such a fascinating story. It's a love story. How we meet, uh, uh, Sister uh, uh, Pearl, you know what I'm saying? From Temple Number Nine, how her aunt is in Temple Number Nine, how Temple Number Nine come about, you know? Temple Number Nine was a ratchet temple. Ultimately, Temple Number Nine will be the temple where they plan and plot to overthrow Prophet Noble Drew Ali. How they take, how in the Bible it says that Murray was had to be put away in hiding. How when they tried to overthrow Prophet Noble Drew Ali, they hid Pearl Drew Ali and put Murray Drew Ali or Murray Foreman Bay as the stand-in claim that she was a wife. How Murray Foreman Bay at the age of 12 lying on the command of her father saying that the prophet married her at 12 years old but then retract the story. You know, this this is a serious story. This is a this is a story that that shows that we have been infiltrated from the time we first tried to org organize. And until we understand how infiltration work, we will continue to be infiltrated and we will not overcome. And that's why it's important that we look at these things. If you don't want to move forward to where we need to go as a people, then just close a blind eye. Act like it don't exist. So back to the point, the brother asked me, he said, more, where is the saving power? And you doing a lecture like this, the saving power is to show people in history what actually happened. So if they wish 
to make a change or inspire those that they are under to make a change, the knowledge will give them the ability to do so. And this is not a lecture where I'll be just talking. This is a lecture where you will be able to have the proof yourself. Anybody who purchased a ticket that I send the email to, that's between you and I. You know, um, after that, you'll be still, you'll be able to watch it. Um, uh, I'll keep it planned for about two weeks on more, I mean, on tohawkabay.com. Um, but at that point, I'm going to, it probably will be about uh, $30 because now I got to put an extra work to make sure every time somebody get it, I'm going to have to stop my day to send them the uh to send them the slides so it's probably go from 20 to 30 dollars and i'm gonna leave it out there because again it's gonna take me more work like that every time i do a lecture those who just try to come on the back end and watch it i mean they be coming 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 and then they be like i ain't get my slides yet i ain't get my slides yet i ain't get my slides yet because it become more work for me to do it on the back end I mean, somebody said, Islam, real quick, how did the profit and MST raise funds and how we can do the same today? Um, the first thing that you got to do is come up with a product. Jaleel, you got to come up with a product that moors. Listen, you got to come up with a product that just not moors are going to buy. One thing that moors too is they try to sell everything to moors. For all intents and purposes, moors. For all intents and purposes, Moors are only going to patronize you about so much. I don't care how holy they feel. I don't care how Moorishly they feel. You have to come up with a product that everybody can use. We come up with hot sauce. We actually going to be having our um our um we have another more products coming to. We actually have a hot sauce. The shirts that I wear, the Divine Seven shirts. Hold on one second. For example, for example, the Divine Seven shirt. More people bought this shirt this summer. More people bought this bought this shirt this summer than Moore's ever bought. You follow what I'm saying? Moore's, listen, we went to an event. Me and my wife, we was going to events all summer. One event that we went to we were so, so successful, right? We were so successful. It was my brother Troy from NOI, Family Fun Day in Annapolis, Maryland. <coughs> I sold out these shirts to regular everyday people. To regular, regular everyday people. I sold out. I sold out. Another shirt. I don't sell, I don't really market a lot of stuff to Moors. The Buddha Moore shirt. Regular everyday people was buying these shirts because I don't market stuff to Moors. Moors have proven to me when I, when I endeavored to do the Moorish village, Moors proved to me that they don't want a village, that they don't want to work in commerce together, that they don't want to be uh, 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 financially liberated together. They proved to me. I said, let's create a Moorish village, right? And this Moorish village, we will have stores there that can sell. Uh, we can get our Hebrew brothers to send in products. I know a lot of people, whether it's from Zion Lex, whether it's from Tazoriak, whether it's from Red Pill, Blue Pill and all that. At that time, I said, we can get everybody to bring in their stuff because they know me. And you that have products too as Moors, you can also send your stuff. And it'll be on consignment in the Moorish village. Let's get this village together. So I go and purchase a building. So I go and purchase a building. First, I did a GoFundMe. It did horrible. Moors, Moors, I was a part of a group called Ali's Men. And these are supposed to be the most educated moors as it relates to research and as it relates to uh, 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 understanding the prophet's movement. There is not one person in Ali's men outside of Cyrus L who donated a dime to that GoFundMe. This was 25 guys. 
They never donated a dime in the Elende L brothers. That's the only three. These are supposed to be the most sharpest people that, as it relates to Morris signs. They didn't donate a dime. They didn't donate a dime. So you know what that showed me? That they're not serious about this. I had to scrap that. Even before me and Sister Robin got together, she, she donated, went into her purse and donated. She was one of the ones who actually seen the building. Was like, are you sure about this? It was a burnt out building. It needed a lot of work. But it was a start because I figured that if I take it, my mother even donated. I say, if I start somewhere and someone would see me trying, maybe they will come back and support. You know what? Them Moors ain't support nothing. Them Moors did not support nothing. That, that was a wake up call for me. So to my brother Jalil, you and your temple create a product that the public can appreciate. Not that Moors can appreciate. The Moors today are no different than trend followers. When the public wear it, they will wear it. They're nothing more than trend followers. I'm telling you, see, this is the raw truth, Brother Jalil. They're trend followers. If you can get little baby to wear one of these, they'll wear one too. You know what I'm saying? They'll wear one too. I'm going to tell you, your best supporters are those who never met you before and can appreciate something of quality. That's right. And that's the same thing with Morris World TV. The best supporters are those who never met me, that get to know me on Morris World TV, become my friends, and become Morris World TV citizens, and they like the quality of the show that I bring to them. I know some people think I just turn on a camera, but I'm coming every show that I do. I got 20 or more slides. I got proof. I got evidence. I got music. I got production. I got everything. And people who can appreciate truth like that, they are the best supporters. So to my brother Jaleel, what can Moors do? I'm telling you, get away from trying to get Moors to do something that they know they're supposed to be doing anyway. That's a waste of time. That's a waste of time. There's no reason why you should have to call a more and ask him to support you. There's no reason. There's no reason that you should have to call a more and say, uh, uh, we got Karans, we got Fezes, we got, we got turbans. We, there's no, there's, there's no excuse for that. You know what I'm saying? Moors are supposed to reach out to you. Once again, I can say the Alinde L brothers. When they need some phases, they reach out to me. When I needed some phases, I reach out to them. When I needed some phases, I reached out to my brother in Philadelphia. When I needed, you see what I'm saying? That's just how it's supposed to go. Ain't no, the European ain't no option until there is no option with me. That's just how it goes. But Moors don't think like that. You know when Moors say, oh, he's a hater. Oh, he's a troll. So you would rather go to the European and, 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 and get the master deceiver uh, your money as opposed to not understanding where I'm trying to go with this and support over here. But it doesn't matter to me. Not today. Because our support base, just like BJ Soto in here, she said, I want to get me one of them shirts. That's, that's, that's my friends. You see what I'm saying? If you a friend of the Moors, you's a friend of mine. You see what I'm saying? That's my friends. Say it again. <laughs> but that's just what it is. That's just what it is. Because I'm a, I'm a, I'm a friend of humanity. You know what I'm saying? I do not, I do not put no Moors on no pedestal and have my expectations crushed because you don't know what you're supposed to do as a Moorish American. I am a lover of humanity. That's right. All the people uh, uh, within the Asiatic family, whether it be black, whether it be Hebrew, whether it be African-American, Afro-American, whatever they choose to call themselves today is my people. That's just what it is. And I ain't putting myself in a box hoping that some more will support the next uh, item that I come out with. No, not at all. I, I sold more of these. I've sold more of these right here to non-Temple Moors than I ever sold to Temple Moors. You know what I'm saying? The Circle 7 hats, 
more non-Temple Moors bought them hats. You know what I'm saying? Where I got one at? Hold on. I think I got one up here. Hold on. Look at this. More non-Temple Moors bought this. More non-Temple Moors bought this. That's right. More non-Temple Moors bought this. So, so, so my point, my point is to my brother Jaleel or anybody else within the Moors diaspora, if you want to raise money for your temple, if you want to raise money for your community, find a product that other people can appreciate because Moors are going to sell you out. They say Moors are sell out. They will sell you out now. I'm telling you, they just, mo I know they're going to get mad at me, but many Moors are Negroes calling themselves Moors. I'm telling you, I have experience in this. I've seen it so many years. They're Negroes calling themselves Moors. I'm telling you, they can dress up good. They can talk the language good. They can even read it good. They can even take you all throughout history. But when it comes to practicing something simple as don't buy a fez from a European Mason up in uh, Chicago. We got fezes here. They can't do that because mm -mm. I don't like you. Cause I don't like you, you know what I'm saying. But they, but they, but they, but guess what? They don't like they don't like the Arab in our community. But they will go buy a chicken box right now. Moors, yeah, hey, moors. They don't like the they don't like the Korean in our community. But they will go right there and buy a chicken box. Give me a five wing and fry. Don't forget the mumbo sauce if you're in D.C. You know what I mean, this is just how our people are. You know what I'm saying? So. I stopped putting folk. So, so let me let me let me let me get out here a bit real quick because I got a show tonight on Morris Road TV. I stopped putting focus on proclaimed Moorish Americans, and this is why Moorish Road TV is like it is today because I put focus on my people who are interested in wisdom. My show is predicated upon wisdom. You know what I'm saying? Um, that's where I put my focus at, on all my people who are interested in wisdom, critical thinking. If I can get you to think, you can save yourself. That's why Moorish World TV is like it was. I spent three and four years on Moorish World TV trying to enlighten people about the downside of these people that claim to be following the prophet, misappropriating the teachings of the prophet, stealing in the prophet name. And guess what? When it came time to try to build something in the name of the prophet, because my face was on it, everybody went silent. So, hey, me and the Moors of the Moorish Science Temple of America, affectionately known as the Noble Temples, we have accomplished more in the last three to four years than I've ever accomplished with any group in the last 20 and I say that humbly. Me and the Moors of the Moorish Science Temple of America, affectionately known as the, as, 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 as the noble temples, have accomplished more things in the last three or four years from our own hot sauce, from, being, from producing our own flags, from producing our own uh, 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 shirts and hats, from producing our own series, uh, uh, Sister Robin uh, Seed the Shelf series. From like many stuff that people don't even see on the internet. You know what I'm saying? You feel what I'm saying? You feel what I'm saying? Many, many stuff we don't even speak of on the internet. We don't even speak of. You know what I'm saying? Because what for? Y'all want. Dad, can you go get some cupcakes? <laughs> yeah, let me finish real quick, okay? Um, like we don't even speak, we don't even speak about this stuff on the internet. What for? We don't, we, we rarely speak on that we produce our own phases. We don't speak on that. I mean, why? What for? Dad, 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 dad. I, I, I want to show the more to, to my glow in the dark shirt. You, okay, let me see. What you want to do? I want to show my Moors the glow in the dark shirt. You want to show the Moors the glow in the dark shirt? Yeah. So what I got to do? Turn the lights off. I got to turn the light off? Yeah. All right, tell, all right, so, all right, we have a presentation by, what's your name? Aleem. Aleem what? Jasmine Bay. Aleem and, Boas, Jasmine Bay. Say it again. Aleem Boas, Jasmine Bay. Aleem Boas, Johnson Bay. And what is your presentation you want to do before we go? 
Shirt. You want to show you a glow? <laughs> glow in the dark shirt. All right. All right. And who you want to show that? To the Moors? Okay. Okay. Let hey, me. Baby. All right. Let me turn the light off. I don't know if it's going to glow. Hold up. Let's see. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to show you. All right. Is it uh, glowing? No, no. It got to turn both. I got to turn this off too? Yeah. So, so the Moors can see. Is it is it glowing? Yeah. <laughs> so it's glowing. Yeah. All right, hold on. Oh, there it go. It's glowing, Lee. <laughs> no. No. I know. I know. I know. So, so, so before we go, can you tell them who baby you are? I'm Daddy's baby. Are you daddy baby or mommy baby? I'm daddy baby forever. <laughs> All right, sing that song, Taco Bay. Taco Bay, shut right to the world, coming number. And a friend Mord and a friend Ma. A song like my enemy to tow on my lawn. <laughs> Say it one more time. One more time, Lee. Taco Bay, front <laughs> line to the law, call my number. Go ahead. Taco Bay, front line to the law, call my number. If you're the friend of one of more than I'm the friend of the mine. I was told like my enemy to follow my lawn. Blow! <laughs> Ciao! Alright, take us out with the Morse American prayer. Alright, let's go. Alas, I you rest for a little too free for your justice and allow my take my guy. Hold on, hold on. You're going too fast. <laughs> slow down, slow down. Say it, say it. Say it. Alas, I you rest for a little too free for your justice and allow my take my guy. And so much. By night, everybody, you hear her you like, some, some, some. <laughs> Ain't no sound, sound. See, come on, man. Say it right. You're making me look bad. Come on, say it slow. A law? A law. As long as long as long. <laughs> Why are you acting silly? <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> you must follow you, peace, family, and justice. A law is my protector? Uh, uh, thank like you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man. I mean, <laughs> Last I your rest fell out to peace, freedom, and justice. The law of my intact, my God. I'm in the vision. By night and by day, you're her proper jolly. Amen. Islam. Pop, pop, pop. <laughs> peace and love, family. Pop, pop, pop. <laughs> your face. Your face. Hold on. I gotta, I gotta go now. I gotta go. <laughs> Bye, family. <laughs> I, gotta I go. can turn the lights back on. All right, let me turn the light back on. Oh, 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 oh. Mommy said be careful. All right, let me turn the light back on. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so, so family, I got to get over here and get prepared for my show tonight. Appreciate y'all. Uh, I'll talk to y'all soon. Peace and love, family. <laughs> oh, there. Peace, family. Oh yeah, hey, hey. <laughs>